And the next function from Metab is a function developed to, to normalize the results by a specific internal standard, which is very commonly used in metabolomics. So in this case, let's as an example, let's apply to to this data set that that we generated before. So we have the metabolites identified and their abundance in the different samples, the same way as before. And uh, let's suppose that we don't know, we don't want to put the name of the internal standard, so we just need to put the data set that you're analyzing, which could be a CSV file as well, doesn't need to be a data frame. And here the folder where you're going to save the results, which in this case is the same folder that we have been using before, For example, Metab. So here. <coughs> Sorry. Example Metab. And let's see. Let's say that we want to save the results with the name uh, normalize normalized by standard. That's the name of the file that you're going to generate. So if we apply that, because we didn't put an internal standard, we don't put the name of the internal standard, it's asking which internal standard we, we want to use, which are the same metabolites that we have in the input data. So let's suppose that I want to normalize by acetone. Normalized and save the result as we said before, normalized by standard, the name of the sample that we put here, and save the, the, save the file in this folder here, okay, which is this folder. So here is the, the result. As you can see, acetone now has the value 1, because the, one that, the compound that was used as standard, and the abundance of all the other metabolites are now in relation to acetone. So basically, the abundance of every metabolite was divided by the abundance of acetone in each specific sample. So which means that this 2 pentanone is 1.36 times uh, more abundant than acetone. And so on. That's how it works. So and the results are here as well in the variable as with any other function. So we have here the <coughs> acetone as one for every sample. So the same idea. 